For the past one year, I've been traveling across Uganda, East Africa, filming documentaries, making YouTube videos, and taking photos for non-profit organizations. This is something I did Monday to Friday, week in, week out, January to December. Just imagine doing this every day. How overwhelming and tiresome could this be? Trust me, for me, I burnt out. Here is a simple breakdown of my 365 days workflow to have a better understanding and an insight of my normal day. Normally for client's work, I jump on a call with the client and discuss what they envision to see in the video. And most cases, since I shoot for American nonprofit organizations, I mean 501c3 nonprofits, it means we mainly jump on a Zoom call, plan it, script it, set a target goal to be achieved, and schedule a date to film a documentary. And whenever I'm done filming and taking photos, I have to edit these videos in the studio for at least six or seven days, a week to be more specific. Man, I'm so tired of editing. I've been editing since morning and I just can't do it anymore. I feel I've just lost the love and <sighs> I can't do it anymore. I'm just done for today. On top of doing clients work, I could spend time over the weekend doing a lot of research, planning, scripting, shooting and editing my YouTube videos. This was so much work and it was so much freaking training. So today is a Monday and I'm feeling so bad and literally I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel like doing any client's work, I have lost the interest and passion of photography, filmmaking, be it documentaries or making YouTube videos. I feel I'm done and I cannot do this anymore. This meant that I didn't have enough time to give my body enough rest and my health was deteriorating. I didn't have enough time to hang out with my friends, my girlfriend and my family. I spent almost all the free time I had editing to try and accomplish my over ambitious goals. I just want to get this done. Today, I mean right now. This is the last, then I have enough rest. I'm done now and I just received an email that I need to make changes on the videos. Oh my goodness. Whew, can I just have a simple rest? I can't, because I have to accomplish this. I have been editing since morning today. Oh boy. Why am I feeling so drained today? My hands are pretty much shivering. My eyes can't focus so clearly anymore. And I'm having this severe headache that does not go away. Damn it. What the heck am I experiencing? I did this for weeks, months, and finally 365 days. Oh my goodness. Do you know what that means? That's a goddamn full year. Oh man, I'm so tired and I feel so exhausted right about now. I'm done. I'm burnt out. And due to overworking with no enough rest, I developed too much fatigue and I was completely sick and my body was so shivery. I developed computer vision syndrome aka dry eyes plus migraines. Because I constantly focus on the computer that emits a lot of blue light, hence making my focus blurry. And finally, due to poor posture while editing, I constantly develop bad headaches and dizziness in the evenings after editing, which became pretty much severe sometimes. At this point, I was burnt out and I lost complete love for photography and filmmaking be it making YouTube videos or even documentaries. Ooh, man, I'm so tired of editing. I've been editing since morning and I just can't do it anymore. I feel I've just lost the love and <sighs> I can't do it anymore. I'm just done for today. I have a lot of work. I have clients work. I have YouTube videos, but I just, I just lost the love of filmmaking and photography. I'm just tired of this. I feel I don't have uh, the love for filmmaking. I feel I don't have the, you know, the passion that I had before. I'm just done. 
I need to take a break. I need to take a break of filmmaking. At this point right away, I knew I had to change a lot of things in my life to get back my full strength because sincerely, I'm burnt out. First things first, I decided to quit my filmmaking slash photography job. I quit using social media for the next 30 days. I quit using sugar and started a ketogenic diet. And finally, I quit making YouTube videos for the next 30 days. I mean, three months. That's 90 days actually. I'll leave a link to all these videos on my description. So check it out after this video. Hey guys, so uh, I'm really so bored and uh, I'm just at home and it's been like one week just staying in the house, no moving out. Uh, I shopped before like for groceries and food and all these things. So like uh, I'm just inside the house for a whole week. But today I've just woken up and it's so damn boring. Uh, so right about now uh, I'm just reading a book. Uh, and it's called uh, When God Thinks of You, He Smiles. I think it's something that is really nice, like uh, when you're bored or when you're depressed, uh, to read about the Bible, to read novels, uh, to read something that can motivate you. And uh, yeah, that is something that I'm doing right now and I feel a little bit much better. Damn it. I'm just so fed up of this. I don't want to, you know, I'm just so bored. I'm just so freaking tired. Hello? Yeah. Okay. You're in town? Okay, let me come. So uh, I've just received uh, a call from a friend and uh, we're just going to visit Ginger Town and explore a little bit. I hope I can re-energize and get back my energy. Let's go. Have you ever been there and you just wonder like, what do I have to do today? Like, you're just wondering and you don't know what to do to, uh, in that day. Uh, I think one of the best things is to just, you know, just move out and explore. It's just good to, you know, just move and have some fun and just see uh, beautiful nature and just calm down. That way you will really, it will really help you uh, feel much better. It will help you uh, kill off your anxiety. It will help you uh, reduce on the uh, depression. So this, that's what I'm doing right now with Harriet and we're just having fun. Kampala, 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 Kampala. Hey Harriet, yeah. how is it going so far? Um, so far I'm loving it. The fact that actually even the weather is amazing, like this is the best, best weather to do videos. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I'm just loving it here. Um, I'm just I'm just working with Ray uh, Moses. He's giving me an exclusive tour of Ginger City. It's just amazing, I should say. Yeah, yeah and so, uh, so good. And uh, personally, like I've been really so stressed and just coming to town. Mm. I feel more relaxed. I feel more relieved. I feel better. You know, just even moving with you and looking at these different uh, buildings, jazzy. Yeah. You know, discussing about YouTube, discussing about all these things. Mm. I feel much more calm and you know more better. I feel like when you're outside, like outside in your enclosed area, yeah. like or in your enclosed place, yeah. there's the way you feel more released, like, you know, more, more stress-free when you're out here. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. amazing, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think like if you leave the house, if you stay in the house for a very long time, it's good to, you know, at least move out and, you know, just see people, uh, interact with more people, to become more, how do they say it? You become more stress free anyway. Yeah. That's it. This is where like the main street starts from. So let's go and you know just move around ginger. Let's go and test the food. Are we testing we the food? We have to test the food <laughs> automatically. So how is your experience today like uh, just leaving Kampala and coming to Ginger, you know, to vlog and uh, see a couple of friends here? Okay, so 
Me, as a travel content creator, guys, I'm not a tourist, I'm a traveler, you get? A tourist are just over here, just besides us. <laughs> so, me coming from Kampala to come and experience what is in Jinja, first of all, I love what I do. I love traveling, I love exploring, I love showcasing my country, Uganda. So, me leaving Kampala, coming to Jinja, I wanted to do you guys to also see the other side of Uganda, because most of you guys be like, uh, most of you people show us the central, you don't show us some other parts of Uganda. But we have got Eastern Uganda, which has got a lot of incredible things to see. Yeah. So I'm so excited to be here and again meeting incredible people like Ray Moses. Who knew that I was going to meet him? Yeah, it was by God's grace. If like someone that. told me last year that <laughs> I was going to meet you today, I would be like, you're lying. Yeah, but now we are here. That's the power of content creation. Yeah, so I just yeah. love what I do. Yeah, I yeah. think it's it's amazing to meet you and just share a little bit with you. And uh, I think if you're in a situation in life and uh, you're, you're stuck, it's good to share with people. It's good to discuss with people. Exactly. Like, let me say, uh, let me give an example. Like, uh, at a given point in life, like, I wanted to give up on this YouTube journey. I wanted to give up on, actually, right now as I'm speaking to you, like, I felt like, you know, this was not the right thing to do. Mm. But I took time off and just coming to town and moving with you, I feel much better. I'm feeling back the love. Amazing. I'm feeling like uh, I need to do this more. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like if you're out there, if you're depressed, if you're down, get out of the house, go outside, interact with people. There's a lot to see. There's nature. Just sit in a park or somewhere, interact with people. Then you'll be good to go. Yeah. 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 What did I learn during these 30 days? transformational time frame oh man it's been so refreshing just to take time off all these distractions and focus on myself getting back to full health i got to hang out with my friends visited a couple of different beautiful places and just generally enjoyed more time with my family and close friends what i learned during this time is you need to take time off and rest because health is so pretty important and precious i almost lost my sight because of editing week in week out I was so depressed trying to accomplish all these over ambitious goals in time and this pretty much drained me. You need to take time off to prevent burnout, be it filmmaking burnout or YouTube burnout. I'm so happy that I've managed to overcome my anxiety and burnout and I'm able to resume filmmaking and creating YouTube videos. This was so worth it and taking a break off made me regain my love for filmmaking and creating YouTube videos. If this video added value to you, could you please consider subscribing to this channel, click on the notification bell below, and watch this next video. Thank you and see you in the next video.